Greetings, Zombie Slayers. Welcome back to some more custom zombies here on Call of Duty World at War. We're going to play the Como C map again here. It's still in the beta release stage. It will be perfected and polished for you guys in a final release soon. I'm just going to show a few of the challenges here to start with. So you can see my character is ranked up to level 11 so far. Some of the challenges here, you have gun game challenges, for instance, here. Uh, lost a gun game round for the first time. Gives you 1,000 XP. And uh, that's a bit of a wooden spoon challenge. You've also got other things here. I'm just going to run my mouse over them here uh, so you can read them if you pause and stuff like that. Uh, these challenges give you XP towards ranking up your character and sometimes they also unlock player items like uh, pieces of uh, you know clothing and stuff like that here. So you can see here some of them, uh, for instance, this one unlocks the pimp hat, reach round 15 without buying any weapons. Some of these are pretty challenging actually. Um, spend over 500,000 points on perks. Yeah, all of that stuff. So these challenges are going to be a lot of fun to try and unlock uh, when you're playing it this map as well it just adds to you know adds to the fun of playing the map and just adds that extra level of detail in there for us now what can, we're going to play today people have requested for me to play the gun game mode so we're going to play that just before i played this game guys i was waiting for the beta 3 to be released where a few issues were, were hopefully going to be fixed this is still the beta 2 uh but Ironically, just after the game when I checked they had released it. So anyway, there is one major issue in this um, gun game mode at the moment. And that is once you get to the M14, the M14 does not spawn. So you run around, you have Why nothing, you can't knife, you can't grenade. There is nothing you can do. So we're going to try and get around that a little bit, but uh, we'll see how we go. So we start off obviously here with the M9 Beretta, the starting pistol. You can see that you earn points. This is pretty much exactly like the UGX Christmas, uh, which I've done a video on as well. But there are a few changes and a few little things that they have put in that kind of caught me by surprise in this. So we get the Scorpion from that gun advancement there. Not the best of weapons, but we're still early on here. And usually what they do is save the very best weapons to last. Now, in UGX Christmas, the final weapon you got before you won the game was the ray gun. Now, in this map, in this map, there is not just the ray gun. There is a whole lot of other stuff uh, from Black Ops Zombie zombies that uh, they're probably going to have as the final weapon so we'll wait and see what happens there but uh, yeah what happens is if you get lucky you can get um, you can get a gun advancement drop but uh, you also unlock gun advancements by reaching a points total as you can see the bottom left of the screen there points to the next gun now just by the way that's a demonstration of the juggernaut perk that I've picked up there the zombies with the glowing blue and pink hands, they will drop something, so you always want to let them into the map before you kill them. So you can see here we got a, a um, points multiplier. But what Jug does, what the Jug drop does, it doesn't give you Juggernog like in normal zombies where you take four hits and you're dead. It actually makes you invincible to zombies altogether, so it is pretty epic to get that. And now we're on to the Mini Uzi here. So uh, we're going to do some damage with that. I'll probably start opening up the map. And here you can see we get the M14. Now you can't actually see any gun. Because the M14 is a little bit broken in this, uh, in this map at the moment. Now that will be fixed uh, for the final release, obviously. Well, let's open up this area because we cannot do anything at this point. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to try something here. Because I really want to show you guys this gun game and try and beat it. I'm going to, just going to do the old tactic of running around, uh, training the zombies, avoiding getting hit by them and all that stuff. And eventually uh, what will happen, hopefully, is uh, the zombies will die off. And I know that that happens in World at War, um, as you guys will probably have seen um, me do that when I beat um, a custom zombies map called McKay's Box in round one. So, yeah, we'll see how that goes, because I really want to show you guys this gun game, and I don't want to have to wait until... Uh, well, in this case, I'd, I couldn't get the um, Beta 3 prior to this game, so... I, don't, I still think they haven't fixed it even in the Beta 3, actually, from reading the notes on that, but it will be fixed eventually, 100%. The other thing that I'll talk about while we're just running around here doing absolutely jack-all is... <laughs> I finally did... Um, well, I didn't work it out, actually. Someone told me, um, Tremonor, who's one of the map makers for this map, 
He actually clued me in on where Speed Collar is in this map because I could not find it. It is, uh, well, not exactly hidden, but it's actually in um, behind a barrier. You have to buy one of these switches here on the right, just here that we're walking past now, and that will unlock a garage door. Uh, and inside that, you have Speed Collar. And in fact, in, in my gameplay where we got um, through the objective mode in this map, um, I did open that switch, but I ran off without looking... Uh, behind me, and uh, that's where the garage door was opening, and Speed Cola was in there. So I was a bit, a bit, a little bit of a foolish, uh, <laughs> foolish thing to do. But uh, there you go. I mean, that's what happens when you play a map for the first time. I guess you have to work out where all the uh, all the bells and whistles are in the map. So we're just going to avoid these zombies. Hopefully, I'm going to try not to get hit at all by any of these zombies. Because if they hit me, then I know that they'll uh, regenerate their um health. It'll take longer for them to bleed out, so. Um, yeah, we'll see how this works out for me. There we go, one of them has died and he's dropped something. Let's see what that is. Okay, it's a po points multiplier, so that's given us uh, 1539 points and has let us advance to the next gun, which is the PP-19. Now, some people are thinking that this is the Modern Warfare 3 weapon. But uh, it is not. It is a different weapon, actually. It is a Russian-made weapon, the same as the PP-90, which is the Modern Warfare 3 gun, but it's made by a different company, actually, even though it uses the same um, helical magazine, which makes it kind of look like a water gun, a lot of people think. Yeah, but it's still uh, it's still really awesome uh, gun. It kind of reminds me of the same rate of fire as the PPSH, but it, it isn't as good as the PPSH at all. Um, but it's getting up there in terms of rate of fire, that's for sure. And uh, in real life, the uh, PP-19 um, fires about 700 rounds a minute, something like that. So, it, yeah, it does have a really high rate of fire. This gun is actually in DayZ as well, for those of you that might, might play DayZ, I don't know. But, uh, yeah. It's a lot of fun to use. Now we're on to the USAS-12. This is a beast of a gun. You guys will see me uh, use this uh, through much of the gameplay I've done on this map when I played the, the objective uh, the objective mode. And uh, this is just a beast. And it's got a really fast reload. So it reloads the whole magazine at once as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, by the way, if you're, if you're interested, the PPSH uh, has a rate of fire of 900 rounds per minute, so it's quite quite a bit um, higher than the PP-19, maybe almost a third, almost 30% uh, higher rate of fire, so it, it is still a beast in zombies. But you know what, I can almost forgive these guys at UGX for not putting a PPSH in here, because there's just so many epic weapons in this in this map. Okay, so doing the business here with the USAS-12. I really, really like this gun, and it's uh, it's brilliant that it's a war weapon in this map. Hopefully it's still a war weapon when the final release comes out. I'm sure it will be. I know they've moved a few of the weapon locations around a little bit from the first beta. Okay, we've got the crossbow, guys. Black Ops weapon. And, uh, yeah, not one of them that I'm a real huge fan of. I know some people use it with high round strategies and that. Um, I haven't pack-a-punched it yet on this map. I haven't pack-a-punched anything except the USAS, to be honest. Um, I hear that the... Let's just grab that. we got another gun advancement. So we've got the Winchester going on here. Not too bad. Now, the Terminator. Let's talk about that. Uh, what that does for you. That's a uh, perk. Or not a perk, but a drop, I guess you'd call it. And what that means is you get unlimited ammo. So you can see my ammo is not going down at all. And I never have to reload. So that, that is really, really good to get. And I think we've got uh, quick foot here. So it gives us super speed, basically. Simple as that. Yeah, anyway. What was I saying? I, I read uh, on the UGX site that uh, some of these weapons will have special, special abilities... Uh, when you pack a punch them over and above what you would normally expect. So I think one of those guns is... Let's just hit this switch here, shall we, and try and get speed collar if we can. I don't know if we can buy it in gun mode. Gun game mode or not. 
but uh, one of those is the Winter's Howl. Ooh, Desert Eagle, beautiful. And the Winter's Howl is supposed to, it sounds like it's got like a fiery style effect if you pack a punch it, but I'll have to wait and see. I'm just going by the, like the name of it when you pack a punch it. I'm really looking forward to doing the pack a punch on some of these guns. The M14 A3, M14 M140 A3 is it? Yeah, I'm not much of a sniper, so I'm not super up on all the different sniper rifles, but this thing isn't real great, actually. Sort of does the job. Failage, come on, Slippery. Okay, so there is still a little bit, bit of a glitch with the zombies going stationary in this spot here, but that's been reported, and I think they've fixed it on the third beta release. Okay, the M16, I know a lot of people will be happy about having this gun in the game. Okay, we've got a boss coming, see that? Warning boss, the boss is coming. That's something new as well. No, it's not actually, they had that crazy, that crazy Santa's wife lady in the EGX Christmas, didn't they? That's right, but uh, it'll be interesting to see what the bosses are like in this, in this map. God, this is a good map, guys. You've got, um... You guys have got a lot to look forward to if you haven't got this map already as a donor. By the way, for those of you that don't know yet, you do have to be a donor to the UGX website to have access to the beta. And this... Oh, did you see that? Did the ground shake there? Is this the boss? Nah, it just looks like a normal zombie. Okay, we've got Juggernaut. That might be a good thing. Oh, look at that! Do you see that? He's like breathing fire or something. Did he just get killed on the saw? I didn't even get to see the boss, the boss zombie. Oh, that's the boss zombie. Cool. <laughs> Challenge completed. What the F was that? Exactly, exactly what I said when I first saw that dude. I don't know if he like breathes fire out of his eyes at you or something like that, has laser vision. But uh, that's pretty cool, I gotta say. Still, uh... Still a lot to discover in this map. We get quick foot again here, and uh, we've got the M M1014 shotgun here. As I've said before, one of my all-time favorite zombies guns and custom zombies maps uh, where it's available. It's and it's a war weapon in this map. <laughs> yeah, you can buy ammo for it. Now I was going to get speed color, wasn't I? So we'll we'll head over and grab that. Shortly. I don't know what weapons we've got to go here. We've got another Quickfoot, I think. Quickfoot's alright, I guess. For getting around quickly. Some people don't like it in gun game. Nice. But this map, uh, I really like the the fact that they made it a relatively challenging map, and, and it's kind of more suited to the camping gameplay style, in my opinion, because it's actually pretty pretty tough to train in this map. Although you can train, it is a little bit risky, if you know what I mean. Okay, the M4A1. Sweet. This is the kind of gun you do start to need... Um, speed color for on the higher rounds but uh, I like the sight on this thing this isn't actually the most powerful of guns in real life kind of better than just carrying around um, a pistol well a lot better actually okay we got the Dragunov now what are those gramophone things points advancement not, not too sure, I can't remember, I wasn't paying attention, but we get Juggernaut again here. Alright, and a new gun, the RPD. This thing is a beast. Okay, let's go grab this. I think that is Terminator. I don't know who created these um, different drops for the gun game mode in this but I know Tremonor is one of the people involved in UGX he should have called it the Treminator maybe <laughs> another jug beautiful 
They, those drops really do make it much easier. So it will be pretty tough otherwise. Although so far with these epic weapons that are in this map, although the UMP is probably not exactly epic, but it's okay. It's okay-ish. It's uh, probably slightly easier than UGX Christmas to beat gun game on this map. I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. We've got a few drops down there. I really don't want to take a long walk off a short pier because if you end up having to drop off into the ocean, you're pretty much doomed in this because the zombies just go through it like it's not even there and you, you slow down, if you know what I mean. Alright, we've got the um, Barrett, I think it is. This is a real beast, this thing. And it's got a huge magazine on it as well. And a relatively quick reload. I don't mind this, actually. What have you got for me? Quickfoot, great. Just what you want when you're camping on a tiny little pier. Uh-oh. Oh, there's another drop. Okay, that's... Terminator there. Oh well, we've got the M60 now, we should be right. Terminator and the M60, what a combination, plus Juggernaut. That's what I'm talking about. Now usually the gun game goes to about 50,000 points, so we must be pretty close to beating it here. Get another Juggernaut. Okay. That's weird when you hear a zombie at the end there, but he's already dead. Okay. Let's finish off these couple while we've still got this Terminator going. Right. Yeah, we're going to have to... Oh, there we go. We've got the XM-8. Now, this gun, guys, is a pretty amazing zombies gun. I've got to say, I really hope that they put this in Black Ops 2. Because um, it's kind of got that near future look to it, even though it's probably not that futuristic. Um, this gun, I think, was um, started being developed in the 90s, um, the early 2000s. It's actually, we've got the AK-47 now, but uh, just still talking about the XM8. It's actually a plastic gun, it's kind of... Um, fiber rings, reinforced plastic, co a composite construction, and uh, they had planned to make it the U.S. Army's standard infantry rifle, but there were a few issues with it, and eventually um, it didn't get it didn't get the contract, and they discontinued that that project for it. So um, it had a few issues early on with overheating. We've got the ray gun here now. I think if you fired too many rounds, the hand grip would melt, stuff like that. <laughs> so a few little issues there, and also some battery issues with um, the red dot sight on it. Okay, we get speed cola here. Okay, you can buy perks in gun game, that's interesting. I don't think there were any perk machines in um, UGX Christmas, so... Th that uh, is pretty good. For gun game in this map, this is more of your uh, Darice. Oh, we got another boss here. Epic. He's going to be pretty hard to beat. I don't think they're as hard as the uh, zombie realism bosses, though. They're just like a little bit more hard than normal. Maybe like 500% harder or something. I don't know exactly what the stats are there, but okay. So we know the raygun's not the final weapon. I'm just going to wait on that Terminator. We've got about, what is it, a bit over 60,000 points here. It'll be interesting to see what the next gun is. Jug. Nice. Okay, give us a gun, give us a gun. Points multiply, we must be pretty close here. Now, um, I guess this, this game mode is really um, kind of designed more for co-op. I'm just giving you a taste of it in solo here. But uh, you kind of compete against your teammates in co-op to see who can beat the game and get to the final weapon. That's the idea of it. 
Oh, there we go. We get the Winter's Howl. Epic. Check it out. It's even got the uh, freezing animation, guys. Oh, and then we go straight to the Thunder Gun. Look at that. We get some weird tidal wave effect happening with that here. And we just got lucky and got another gun advancement. So you didn't get to see too much of those uh, Black Ops Zombies Wonder Weapons at the end there. But the last gun was the Thunder Gun. And there you go, guys. We beat the gun game even with the M14 not working for us in this beta version. Please remember to rate and comment on the video for now. It is Slippy Jim out. Thanks for watching.